Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Wednesday Art Snack. Do I need an opening? I don't know. Wednesday Art Snack. Wednesday Art Snack. <laughs> ah, welcome, 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 welcome. Um, I am here today. Uh, today's Art Snack to give you a little uh, pep talk about portable art. So what do you do when you're too tired to create something or maybe you've got something bigger that you're working on and you don't feel like dragging out all your supplies, um, but you wanna keep your creative practice up. You don't wanna lose your creative momentum, your creative mojo. What do you do? Well, I'll tell you what I do. So this is, um, a little bag of my own design. It's one of my paintings, um, but it's a zipper pouch, and I don't know, eight by twelve or something size. I don't even know. But in this little zipper pouch, there's all kinds of goodies. It's kind of a to-go bag, and these are all great portable art supplies. So the first thing I've got is this nifty little journal that I love, love, love. Um, it's called Be Creative. I don't know what the brand is, but I'll put a link in there. Um, BEE -E Creative Heavyweight Draw. I don't know, but it's this nice little compact size, this journal, and I, I painted the cover. Um, and it's just this easy, accessible little book. And it's got these nice beefy pages that I like. Um, so I, if I just feel like sketching with pencil, I can do that, but it will also stand up to watercolor, um, water media. So also in here, I've got another zipper pouch, which has got some pencils and erasers. It's really messy in there, some graphite. Um, which if you don't want to get too messy, you know, you might not want to use that stuff. Um, well, pencils are fine, but the graphite kind of gets everywhere. But I have to tell you, I do this um, sitting on my couch sometimes. I just have some supplies out on my, uh, my coffee table right in front of the TV. And sometimes I'm tired at the end of the night and I just pick up uh, one of my sketchbooks and I start start working in it. So I've got this nifty little set of watercolors, it's koi watercolors. It's a travel pack and it's got this cool little brush that you can fill if you're on the go. You can fill it with water and, and just squeeze it out. So that is a nice thing. I keep this, um, in this little pouch by the couch, pouch by the couch. <laughs> and I just use that sometimes in the evenings. And also, and this is a little bit messier too, but I've got this uh, little set of uh, oil pastels, which is pretty wonderful and I'm missing one. Um, but it's just really compact. And again, not quite as portable because it's kind of messy, but I still sit on the couch and work with them. Um, I usually have, you know, a wet rag or um, baby wipes handy to wipe my hands. So all you really have to do is just doodle to keep up your, that creative uh, mojo. You don't even have to do much of anything. So I'm going to actually have this charcoal pencil here which is going to bleed when I do some watercolors, which I want to do, but do some doodles. Just do some little doodles. Let your hand wander, pull your whatever it is along. This is charcoal. You can use pencil marker, pastel, oil pastel, crayon, whatever you want to use. Just have fun with it. 
And sometimes what I'll do is I'll just do a little sketch like this and, or a little doodle, I should say. It's not, not very sketchy, but it's very doodly. I love doodles. And then I'll just take, um, I'm gonna pull out a different brush. I don't feel like busting out that one. But I like a nice round brush for watercolors. Get it wet and smush it around in there. And I'll just start coloring it in. And in this case, I really like how the charcoal just smudges ever so slightly and sort of darkens the edge. And it can be really quite zen when you let yourself lose yourself in art. But look how accessible and portable this is. I mean, all you need in addition to something to paint on and a little watercolor set. All you need is uh, a little jar of water. And I just use an old, whatever food used to be in that jar. You can use anything. And like I said, I do love a nice round brush for watercolors. And this is, I honestly, look, it's a pencil on one end and a brush on the other. I like cheap brushes. I just do. This one was from the Denver Art Museum. I like to get little affordable souvenirs when I go to a, an art exhibit just to remember them by. And this is a great one because I can use it. I've actually gotten a watercolor set at a museum before for like 12 bucks. And watercolors are fun. I just like to play with them. Watch them pool. Let's get some blue in there. And it's really nice because you can be completely aimless with this. I've got no goal other than to watch the paint swish around and it's still keeping me in my creative practice. And then of course you can do whatever you want to do with this. There's no rules. So that is my advice. Get a little sketchbook and whatever supplies call to you and some sort of a pouch to carry them in and just stow them away when you're not using them. And then you can just pluck it right out <clears throat> from wherever you're keeping it next to your couch, your kitchen table, wherever, and then wherever you are, your art studio is. You don't need an actual art studio to have an art studio. Your studio is wherever you're working. Right now, my studio is in my studio. <laughs> but very often, like I said, my studio is on my couch. All right, that's all I got. If you have other tips, what do you do to keep up your creative practice when you're not feeling creative? Let me know in the comments and I will put some links if you're interested in these supplies. And I'll tell you, they're affiliate links. So if you click on them and buy something, even if it's not the supplies I suggest, I get a tiny commission. So you're supporting an artist. And I do appreciate that. All right, gang, that's it. I see it's so hard to stop painting. It's so hard to stop painting. All right, stay creative and I'll see you soon. Bye.